The 32 candidates are finalizing campaigns across the length and breadth of the region. A central theme in their messages is a commitment to help the new patriotic party break the eight in 2024. Beyond this, they are fixated on winning majority of the parliamentary seats. The ability or otherwise of the candidates to execute these seem to be a major reason for which delegates will cast their ballot. However, the burden of convincing delegates seems to be tilted more towards the incumbents. There were 121 seats in the lead-up to the 2020 polls. Though they aimed at recapturing three more seats, they ended up losing seven of their seats to the National Democratic Congress. This reduced the number of NPP seats in Greater Accra from 21 to 14. The incumbents, however, have accepted responsibility for the performance. We losing seats in Greater Accra, it is true. But I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to make this extension that we did not only, the party did not only lose seats in Greater Accra. We lost seven seats in Greater Accra. How many seats did we lose in Central Region, for example? Yeah, you've been walloped in Central Region, but again, in Greater Accra, too, you lost massively. But, 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 that is true. I, yes. I accept and mm -hmm. accept responsibility mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Except that I'm saying that certain factors beyond our control well as a good leader i will accept responsibility but the fact of the matter is that uh, elections are not organized at the regional level it's organized at the police station level so we did our best as leaders of the party but there were so many factors that went into the election that made us to lose the 21 seats to 14 seats they however insist that they have a better understanding for the loss in lejokuku adenta tema east Crowa. Or Kai could not end up like central. For them, they are seeking re election to right the wrongs. Since I know the challenges and the problems that we encountered that made us to lose 21 seats to 14 currently, I am the same person who can provide solutions. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you for sure that uh, we did our best trying to resolve some of the problems, i.e., divisions in some constituencies. Divine Agohom, incumbent chairman, who is seeking a re-election bid is contested by Alfred Boy, his contender in 2018. He won that election with a slight margin of a seven vote difference. He is, however, confident the margin will increase this year. So, so I believe that the lessons that I have learned, uh, my relationship with the people who did not know me then, now if you see most of these MPs four years ago were not supporting me, they openly came out and declared it. Now we have most of these MPs supporting me, even financially. They are on your side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was... When Alfred Boy was contacted for comments at the time of filing this report, he declined due to tight campaign shadow for traveling in and out of the 34 constituencies in the region. Aside the chairmanship race, the regional secretary position promises to be an interesting one. Two persons, namely Emmanuel Clotty and Solomon Asante, are contesting incumbent Daniel Parker Odalai. The race is, however, said to be between Emmanuel Clotty, who is the current director of research and elections in the Greater Accra region, and Daniel Parker Odalai, the incumbent. This is evident as the incumbent did not mince words in taking a jibe at Emmanuel Clotty. He accused Emmanuel of not carrying out any work as a research director of the region. He wonders how Mr. Clotty will run the regional party office if he failed to deliver on his mandate as regional director of elections and research. In fact, uh, you are talking of somebody who did not do even a single research, but he has the name as a research officer. That should tell you. Uh, there are times that you don't allow your ambition to override your common sense. Because if even at that level, and per the structure of the party will work under me, and you are unable to perform at your level, I see no reason why you will climb up there to say I'm coming to. Mr. Clotty has however debunked these claims. It certainly shouldn't be only because of one person. That's the reason why you fail. And I heard him saying a few times that oh, his research officer was no good. That's why he failed as the regional secretary. I'm like really. So at least you know that you failed. It wasn't so. I wouldn't want to banter uh, my regional secretary on open radio. I have been selling policies. I wish that he probably would have been discussing policies with you. Things that are internal matters, it's not healthy as the regional secretary to be, to come discuss on radio. Both are confident of winning the regional secretary polls. They are the constituency executives are those who decide 
on us by on Saturday. They will tell you, as well, so far as greater Christ is concerned and then uh, my operations are concerned, they will tell you that I did my best. I was everywhere in greater Accra. What is expected of a regional secretary, I did my part. It is going to be attacked with a lot of tact, a lot of strategy, a lot of experience over the years in electoral affairs, a deep understanding of how all these units under the regional secretary runs, be it research and elections which I've been doing for two terms, which I did the first time and for which they appreciated and reappointed me as the regional research and elections officer for Greater Accra, and also communication and organization, which I've seen work in very good terms. The third candidate is Solomon Asante, who is the former constituency chairman of the NPP in Namasaman, attempts to reach him for comments were unsuccessful. Out of the 10 portfolios for grabs, it is the second vice chairperson position whose aspirants are all first entrants. All of them have been party executives at various levels and appear to be seeking an upgrade in their standing in the party. They are Peter Henry Vanderpoy, a former communications officer of the Colleclotic NPP, Francis Ebo Mensah, the current regional communications director of the NPP in the region, Jeffrey Edwards Osei, a former constituency chairman for I also West Wogon, and Eric Nati, former constituency chairman for Martina. Jeffrey Edward Osei, who was available for comments, aligns why he's the preferred candidate. For me, it's been physically exerting, politically interesting, it's been educative, it's been informative, and it's a good it's a good thing, it's a good lesson for all of us. What has been the reception like? Oh, reception has been very, very, very well. I mean, based on reception, not to say my other contestants are not strong, but based on the reception I have received and the endorsement I have gotten, I have the fear delegates thing in mind though, but I can say it's been very, very good and I am poised and ready to become the second vice chairperson of the Greater Caribbean for the New Patriotic Party. The elections are slated for Saturday, May 28th this year at the Trade Fair Centre. Other incumbents of the Assistant Secretary, Treasurer, Organizer, Women Organizer, Youth Organizer and national positions will be battling to be maintained. According to the Party Steering Committee in the Greater Accra Region, all is set for the Saturday polls to elect regional officers. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.